Hello, everyone around the world, and welcome to the Game Awards 2020. We are so happy to have you joining us tonight through all the awards live in the show. Um, we're going to be joined also by some very special guests, Keanu Reeves, Gal Gadot, Brie Larson, Tom Holland, Christopher Nolan, John David Devist, and she's joining us now live on Zoom. It's Brie Larson. Hey, Brie. Hello. There you go, Perfect Dark from the Initiative, Xbox. Very exciting to have that. And Back for blood, and I'm now joined by Chris Ashton of Turtle Rock Studios. Uh, this is pretty exciting for all us Left 4 Dead fans. Of course, uh, you guys are known for all the amazing work, Left 4 Dead, and now you're building, uh, this, uh, building on the legacy with this new zombie co-op shooter. Uh, what's new? What can you tell us about it, Chris? Well, we wanted to do monstrosities that are definitely going to take you know, the help of your friends in order to defeat. All right, well, it's great to have this game announced, but it sounds like, I, I think you've prepared a little surprise for everyone. Oh yeah, like uh, movies are cool, but uh, gameplay is king, right? So let's see some of that. Okay, here we go. Here's the gameplay reveal of Back for Blood. Thanks. There you go, Back for Blood, June next year. Alpha next week, crazy, all right. We're celebrating games and we've got awesome discounts on many of tonight's nominees with the Game Awards sale across Xbox, PlayStation, Nintendo eShop, Epic's at the Game Awards, Scavengers from Midwinter Entertainment. Everyone has been wondering when they'll get to play it. For news on that, let's hear from Midwinter's Josh Holmes. There you go, Forza cross Cyber. All right, well, now it's time to reveal the winner. The nominees are joining us here. Hi, guys. All right, here we go. Uh, and the winner is... The Game Award goes to No Man's Sky. I'm feeling some Dead Space vibes, and there's little wonder why you know him. Now it is time to recognize... All right, once again this year, we're excited to share some stories about people around the world who are making a positive impact on the gaming community. Welcome back to the Game Awards. That's so exciting. Disco Elysium News, you may remember last year, they were, I think, they won the most awards out of any game last year at the Game Awards, so awesome news. All right, well, now we're going to talk about BioWare's Dragon Age franchise. It is known for its story and its characters, and right now, the team at BioWare wanted to give you a little sneak preview of what to expect in the next game and where it will take us. Enjoy. Hey, John. Hey, Jeff. Thanks. Chef, are you there? Uh, uh, chef, I, I'm so sorry to cut you off, uh, and you're looking sharp in that tux, by the way. Mm. And my Swedish, it's a little rusty, but I think there's been a, a little bit of confusion, honestly. No, 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 it's for the win. No, no, Chef, I, I'm so sorry, but you didn't actually win a Game Award. That trophy you've got, honestly, it, it, it kind of looks like leftovers. Anyways, you're supposed to be sharing an announcement here uh, about a co-op game. The coop? Uh, no, a co-op game, like a fun, cool new game with a playable character named Swedish Chef. <gasps> Me? For the play -Doh? Yes, that is why you're here, for a world premiere. Let's take ooh, a look. Ooh, okay, okay. Ooh. And there you have it. What do you think, Chef? Furniture, 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 big. Oh my. Uh, all right, well, congratulations to the <laughs> Swedish <laughs> Chef. Uh, this time it's real. <laughs> Swedish <laughs> Chef is playable in Overcooked All You Can Eat on PS5 and Xbox Series X, and he's available right now. Coming up, Gal Gadot is presenting our Abbey Road Studios to celebrate Mario's 35th anniversary with the world famous London Philharmonic Orchestra. But right now, let's hear from Dr. Lupo about a new initiative at the Game Awards, Future Class. I, I want that Mario music back. That was fun. All right. Thank you very much, Sid. Last month, Call of Duty invited players to unravel a conspiracy decades in the making with the release of Black Ops Cold War. On December 16th, Season 1 kicks off. Free multiplayer maps, more weapons, and more operators. And for Warzone players, a massive update of content, including a new close quarters map, Rebirth Island. Here's your first look at the gameplay of Season 1. Beautiful. That's Seasons. All right. Hey, gal. Thanks, Jeff. Um Congratulations. Everyone's joining us. Yeah, that's right. Arc 2 starring Vin Diesel. And the team at Studio Wildcard has one more. 
The Game Festival is going on right now, and you can stream all the Game Festival demos using any device. Uh, you out, uh, the Game Festival, lots of amazing games you can play all weekend long. All right, coming up next, there are more awards and announcements, and later we've got Reggie, Keanu Reeves, plus Eddie Vedder from Pearl Jam, Last of Us Part Two. But right now, Elite Dangerous is a space sim MMO from Frontier. Players have been exploring the galaxy for nearly four decades. Here is the gameplay reveal of Odyssey, which lets you explore on foot for the first time. There you go, evil. We love ourselves some Capcom arcade classics. Hey, what's up, Game of all right, uh, congratulations to Mortal Kombat and thanks to Ralph and Yuji. One of the things I have really uh, been missing this year is flying around the world, but luckily we have one of the most beautiful games of the year to help fill that void. All right, we will be back in just a moment with a man, a meme, a man, a meme, a legend, Reggie. He's going to join us. We've also got a new look at a game from a guy you might remember from one of the craziest, most unscripted moments in Game Awards history. Hey everyone, welcome back to the Game Awards. And before we went away there, I meant to tell you that was a look at a new Rogue coming to Rogue Company. Um, so make sure to check that out uh, this holiday season. All right, well, you probably remember this next developer from a few years back. He is not a fan of the Oscars, but he is a fan of colorful language and our show. He's in Stockholm, Sweden tonight, and he wanted to give us a new look at his next game. Here is my buddy, he really is my friend, Joseph Ferris. Hey, Joseph. What's up, Jeff? So what an absolutely crazy game. Joseph showed that to me last summer when I was in Stockholm. I'm like, we have to show this off. There's so much gameplay there. Thank you for that, Joseph. All right, now I'd like to welcome a G. Jeff, Jeff, how you doing? I'm doing good, Reggie. Take it away. Absolutely. Congratulations to Naughty Dog. Such an Tonight, go to WD Black. Doesn't get better than that. Thank you so much, Eddie Vedder, for being here on... There you go, Evil West. All right, on Twitch. Welcome back, and as you just saw, EA Play is available now on new consoles, Steam, and Origin, and includes Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order, one of our nominees tonight, and a great game. All right, now on to one of the biggest games this year. It was created by three developers in Seattle, now four. You saw them. They've won two awards tonight. Interslot, they absolutely took over the internet with Among Us. Well, they sent us something special. This is the reveal of... All right, the Among Us tie. Hello, Jeff. What's up? Hello, Jeff. How's it going? Joining me right now is the chief creative officer of Epic Games, Donald Mustard. Uh, Donald, it is great to have you on the show. It's a yearly tradition. New Fortnite season. What can you tell us? Oh, man. It's so awesome to be here. Master Chief comes to Fortnite. You're getting them all, Donald. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? Like Master Chief is just one of my There's some, cool. some more Halo coming as well, I heard. Yeah, so I think uh, you know, we didn't want it to stop right there. And so there's something else I think we should uh we should check out. Oh my god. It's e gonna be fun. Everything is in Fortnite right now. So you, are are you done for the season? Yeah. Thanks, Donald. I have no idea where we're going next, but I'm on board. Thanks, Jeff. All right, uh, Donald Mustard from Epic Games. All right, come up in a for best game direction. We've still got a few more surprises. Don't go anywhere. Right now, let's hear from Rocket League on their new season. The Game Awards is back. We've got a lot of great show. Keanu Reeves still to come, Christopher Nolan, and so much more. And of course, we've got the Game Awards sale happening on all the platforms, including an awesome discount on Destiny 2. So uh, make sure to check that out across all platforms. All right, for the next 30 minutes on Twitch, you can get a free cosmic wrap for Fortnite. There is a Twitch drop happening right now. So check that out too. This next game was announced last year right here at the Game Awards, developed by Airship and supported by Riot Forge. And now they're back to give you a first look at the gameplay from this indie title, the first ever single player console game from the League of Legends universe. This is Ruined King, a League of Legends story. All right, Ruined King available on console and PC in 2021. Now to present our next award, a man who absolutely needs no introduction. Please welcome Keanu Reeves. Keanu. Jeff. Thanks. 
Welcome back to the Game Awards. I'm so excited about that Medal of Honor from Respawn in VR. Surprise, it's out right now. What an incredible trailer and gang circumstances. I can't believe we did it. Take care, stay safe, happy holidays, and be well. I'm Jeff Keeley. Good night. We'll see you next year.